Hello world. Welcome back to Next Access. Having delved into the history of operating systems in part 1 and explored the foundations of GNU/Linux in part 2, we are now ready to unravel the practical aspects of Linux in this video. Let's review some of the similarities as well as the differences in design, features and user experience of these operating systems and find out the actual differences for the users when it comes to using these three main available options. Additionally, this will help you to understand why I think that Linux is the best option when it comes to choosing the operating system for our personal computer. Let's start with the most important thing first, cost. As already mentioned in my previous video, most GNU/Linux distros are completely free for anyone to download and use. Some distributions that comes with a price tag like the commercial version of Red Hat Linux are significantly more affordable than the proprietary operating systems. Windows now has a freemium model meaning we do not have to pay anything for using the Windows operating system as it is freely available for download from the Microsoft official website but it costs us in a different way Microsoft uses telemetry to collect our data which is then sold to the advertisers and third party companies Finally macOS which runs only on the Apple hardwares are quite pricey as you all know The way Windows operating system organizes file are very different from the way macOS and GNU/Linux do. Windows uses drives. Usually there is C and D drive that stores all the computer files and separate drives are also there for external devices such as CDs, USBs and so on. MacOS and GNU/Linux have similar file system that comes from Unix. In these operating systems there are no drives. Everything in this computer are considered as files. even the external devices and all the files are organized in directories that descend from a single root directory the directory structure is formed as a tree that has a unique root both gnu/linux and macos have bash as their default shell whereas windows operating system has its own shell that uses a different syntax windows comes with command prompt as its default shell However, with the introduction of Windows PowerShell, Microsoft has shifted towards promoting PowerShell as the preferred command line interface for Windows operating system. MacOS and GNU/Linux comes with package managers installed by default. A package manager is a piece of software that allows you to install, update and uninstall programs from the terminal and that is only by just entering a few commands. They are super helpful especially when you are installing and uninstalling things constantly as it is much more efficient to install programs through package manager than manually. MacOS's package manager is called Homebrew. On GNU/Linux, the default package manager depends on the distribution. For example, Debian based distros comes with advanced package tool in short APT whereas Arch based distros comes with Pacman and Fedora based comes with DNF. All package managers functions in a similar way but there are some differences in the syntax used for each of them it is also important to mention that you can install and run different package managers than the default windows does not come with a default package manager but if you want to use one you need to install it first the two of the best package managers available for windows are winget and chocolaty windows and macos are really simple and user friendly operating system They are very easy to use for the beginners. Regarding GNU/Linux, it depends on the distribution you choose. As mentioned, distributions like Ubuntu or Linux Mint are practically easy as Windows and Mac OS. But the defining trait of Linux lies in the unparalleled level of customization it generously offers. You are not confined to a one-size-fits-all paradigm. Instead, you have the freedom to make things just how you like them. With Linux, you get to choose from a vast range of desktop environments. It is sort of like picking your favorite theme. This means that you can adjust how things look and work on your computer to match exactly what you want. It is like having your own set of tools to explore the digital world. Linux gives you power to change how your computer looks and behaves, which shows how much it care about making things personal for you. One of the remarkable distinction that sets Linux apart is its dual approach to user interaction seamlessly integrating a robust command line interface with intuitive graphical options while the most mainstream operating systems like windows and macos predominantly rely on graphical interface 
Linux stands out by offering you the flexibility to choose between the efficiency of command line and the user-friendly nature of graphical environments. This duality caters to a diverse user base, allowing seasoned users to harness the power of command line while providing a friendly graphical interface for those less familiar with the text-based interaction. Windows is the most widely used operating system and thanks to that, most softwares are adapted to it, even though less popular Mac operating system is similar to Windows in this regard. While back in the day, Linux was not compatible with many programs out there, but this has started to change rapidly. While it is true that certain proprietary softwares may lag direct Linux versions, like the Adobe suite of applications, the open source community has also cultivated a vast array of alternatives that are often just as powerful. Tools like Wine or Bottles can even help you to run some Windows applications on Linux. When it comes to hardware, only Apple has the direct responsibility for the computers that their operating system runs on. As a company, Apple is focused on providing quality product, so their newest computer tends to be the one with the best performance across the market. Given that Apple designs and develops both hardware and software, it is possible that the compatibility between the machine and the operating system is more fine-tuned than that of Windows or GNU Linux. On the Windows and Linux side, hardware quality is completely up to what the users decide or can afford to buy. The good thing here is that you can install the operating system wherever you want. This is particularly cool when thinking about installing lightweight Linux distributions on older hardware that cannot handle the requirement of bigger and more resource consuming operating system like Windows. GNU slash Linux distributions are considered to be the most secure and stable operating system nowadays. The fact that the source code is available for everyone is not a security threat as you may think at first, but rather it is an advantage. Bugs can be identified and worked on quicker. And when a security breach is identified, lots of people can work on it and propose quick fixes. Linux has earned its reputation for unwavering stability and exceptional performance. The very architecture of Linux is designed to facilitate efficient resource management, making it the preferred choice for a spectrum of applications, be it personal computers or enterprise-grade servers. Compared to that, macOS is more prone to attack from bad actors. But Windows on the other hand is considered to be the least secure and stable of the three. Given that Windows is the most popular operating system in the world, most malwares are also developed to mainly attack it on the first place. Undoubtedly, the most significant strength that sets Linux apart is the vibrant and thriving community. A global network of users, developers, and enthusiasts actively contribute to the growth and support of Linux. This community-driven ethos is palpable through the multitude of online forums, extensive documentation, and collaborative projects that forms the backbone of Linux support. Whether you are a beginner taking your first step into the Linux world or an experienced user seeking advanced insight, the Linux community provides a welcoming space where assistance is readily available. The sense of camaraderie within the community fosters an environment where knowledge is freely shared and individuals, regardless of their expertise level, can find guidance and support. If you are interested in learning more about a particular operating system, studying how it works, how you can modify it and create projects based on it, then GNU slash Linux is definitely the way to go. It is the only operating system that has its source code available for anyone and its online community is huge. Even though Linux is not as widely used as other two operating systems, you will see that Linux users are usually the people interested in software technology and the people who like to talk, learn and share knowledge about it. In conclusion, stepping into the realm of Linux is not just a transition to a different operating system. It is an embrace of a unique philosophy. Whether you are captivated by the open source essence, fascinated by the extensive customization possibilities, or drawn to the vibrant community spirit, Linux offers an inclusive space for every beginner to embark on a journey of learning, tinkering, and growth. So as we wrap up this brief series of guides to make you understand Linux in a better way, keep in mind that adopting Linux means a shift towards a community-driven ethos that values collaboration and knowledge sharing. Whether you are delving into the Linux for the first time or seeking advanced insight, the Linux community stands ready to support and inspire you. 
and as you embark on your computing journey, remember that with Linux, the possibilities are as vast as your imagination. Thanks for joining us in this exploration of Linux's operating system fundamentals. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, stay curious and keep discovering with Nix Nexus.